Good morning, it is a brand new week and I am on my glider that Liam set up. Um, it is so nice, we've got the whole of the nursery area all set up now. I've got a few more bits to do but essentially the basics are done. I didn't vlog last week, we'll talk about that later. Um, but now I need to go and find my watch because I feel naked without having some sort of jewellery on. And Liam and I are going to go and look at nurseries this morning for this baby girl. Um, I hope that this doesn't become like a controversial topic in the um, comments but for us and for our lifestyle because we both work we are going to be using a nursery service for some um, a few sessions a week of childcare for baby when she's old enough so we're going to go and have a look around nurseries and see because I would imagine by the time like we have a little baby in our lives we we're going to be really busy and we would have wished that we would have been a bit more prepared <laughs> beforehand so we're going to do that now i obviously won't film in there because it's a nursery but i'll tell you what i thought of it afterwards i've snuck into the downstairs loo but can you hear him back from nursery now also stopped off at subway and got a foot long i'd like to know what you're getting your subway sandwiches the reason i'd like to know this is because i actually used to work at subway when i was at uni i was a sandwich artist making everyone sandwiches um i'm just picking up a load of laundry Ugh, double tasking um yeah i used to make sandwiches and i always get a toasted cheese on honey oat with salad which is like the least inspiring exciting sandwich ever Anyway, back from the nursery, didn't think it was the greatest. I thought it was quite good for older children, for preschoolers. What did you think of the nursery? Uh, I liked it. Liked it. Thought it was okay for older children, but I'm not sure for babies it was the right fit for us. But we've still got loads and loads and loads of time to go and look around loads of other nurseries. So, oh, oh I have to do this. So not too concerned and now I'm going to put on the laundry and then go and do a food shop. I know I talk about this all the time, the laundry, and this isn't an ad I promise, but my washing machine is really smelly at the moment because I did that thing where you wash things and then forget and then three days later you go to put more washing and you're like, oh I never took that washing out and now it all smells funny. These are your saviour. If this is you, if you are the slovenly person like me who leaves washing in then you're like oh no you want to get these Lenore Unstoppables in wash scent boosters they don't do any cleaning I don't think um, but they just make your um, they make your laundry smells and your washing machine and uh, Lenore Unstoppables go directly into the washing machine to give a fresh scent boost basically these will save you if you are like me I'll show you how they work pour some in they look like sweets, they are not, do not eat them, do not let your children near them and then just put them in your washing machine like that um, and then put all your normal stuff in as well like um, I have these oh, I've done a whole video on my laundry if ever you're interested Hards and then that and you're done again, not an ad, just letting you know I'm training the cats to play outside they're more than old enough now they've had all their jabs yada yada but every time I put them out all they do is sit underneath the <laughs> hey little baby hey little baby is sit underneath the the barbecue hello hello oh, I've got to go out of the bushes yes I am come on then look that feels nice doesn't it does that feel nice you can do your shitties there, can't you? You can do your little poopies there. There's Orbit. Sorry, there's Orbit. There's Milky. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? What was that? Welcome to nature, boys. This is much better than the patio. Look who I'm with. That's my fave. Oh, what's that? Apparently the greatest book there is in Tesco or anywhere in the whole world. I absolutely love doing a food shop, but I hate the unpacking of it. This I'm excited about. I don't know why I'm showing you this outside on the drive. Um, I bought this for Darcy. I'm either gonna give it to her for Christmas or give it to her as a gift from the bump. It's like a dolly with a Moses basket because now I'm having a baby now. She's suddenly had an interest in babies. Right, take all this in. The thrilling part of my day. Up. Any minute, oh dear, what's happened? 
Once again, the vlog camera. Am I in the wrong setting? I should make t-shirts called Am I on the Wrong Setting because all I ever bloody say is Am I on the Wrong Setting. I'm looking for the candle lighter. This. Lumos. Because um, lovely Paula is coming shortly and she is the lady that does CBT therapy with me. If you're not sure what this is, um, look it up. But basically, I'm having a sort of therapy because suffered with PTSD after I had Darcy and then I didn't really deal with it because I didn't think I needed to because I was like well I just won't have any more children just lighting candles I was like well I just won't have any more children and then I don't have to deal with all of those scary feelings and now obviously I am having another baby they've all come up to the surface oh, this one smells so good and I need to deal with them pretty quickly because I don't want to I don't want to have a baby feeling really don't want to go into it feeling like negative and also um i want to minimize my risk of having any kind of like mental health issues after she's born so i'm having a bit of therapy and it's quite nice i've had two sessions with her already and this is the third um and last session i was very anxious going into it but felt like it was very worthwhile when i came out of it so yeah that's where we are with that wish me luck CBT was so nice. I always feel, I say like, I always feel so good afterwards, but it's only been three sessions, but I feel like very nice and soothed from that now. And also Paula, the lovely, lovely um, matron from the hospital that does it, said that she will come to the birth if she's not doing anything. So that like, hello monkey. Can you oh. it, please, yes. There you go, get your chin jams on. Everyone, I just what? say I've turned into a bunny. Here's Darcy. She's turned into a bunny. I'm a bunny in it now. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, turn back to a human one day. It's my power. I turn into a bunny, my power. And Take the money then. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel really, really positive. Went to go and collect Darcy. Um, she was in after school club because my session was a bit later. Thanks, Darcy. And now we're going to do this about to go downstairs put gym jams on now oh i feel so good I want to recommend a book to you this is escape to willow cottage by bella osborne i don't personally know this author this isn't like a oh i met her at a thing and got her book um i picked this up i'm up to here does this pain anyone that i do this with books i picked this book up in um tesco or asda a while ago just because i thought do you know what i just judged a book by its cover which you should never do but that's what i did and i have been reading it and it is just the most cozy book it's not the most thrilling or the most riveting but i don't always want that i sometimes just want to be like to have my hair stroked if you want like a hair stroke in a book willow cottage by bella osborne oh my phone's going better go bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a wonderful surface like hey why is mummy so excited about christmas let me show it because <laughs> we go to Father Christmas house. I bought a Father Christmas chocolate. This is my baby. This is my baby mouse cup. Why are you talking in a funny accent? Yes, this is the mini mouse cup. And this is my ball. Yes. And this is my play. Yes, mommy was feeling very generous in Tesco's today. And I'm going to put my chop my. Why are you talking about this funny voice? I don't have it. And I'll put it in here. Okay. It's 11 o'clock. I am so tired. Liam is not back from work yet. He was meant to be back at like 8, but stuff ran on. Blah, blah, blah. And I just thought, oh, it's okay, because Liam said he would take Darcy to school for me in the morning. So all I have to do is like get up and get her ready, and I can get ready at my own pace. Wrong. I just remembered that I am delivering an assembly to six formers tomorrow at a local school so i need to get darcy all ready for school get myself not only just ready for the school run but like looking acceptable for like other humans the school run you only need to look acceptable for like the five seconds that you interact with other people then you can get back in the car i.e you can wear leggings a big coat and your pajama top as long as you do the zip zip your coat up I don't think I can go to the assembly tomorrow wearing <laughs> my pyjama top under a coat. I think I'm going to have to wear clothes, a bra, sort my face out, 
that sort of thing. Not to mention, <laughs> I've not planned what I'm going to say in that assembly. I haven't got a freaking clue what I'm going to say in that assembly. Um, but I've been asked to be inspiring. <laughs> See you tomorrow, I'll let you know how the assembly goes. I'm sure it'll be great. I can't turn the camera off while I'm pressing the button. It's not turning off. <laughs> End. It is quarter to eight. I'm off to go and drop Darcy at school and then do an assembly. I've got the world's, this looks like a big banana close up, but look at it. This is the world's smallest banana to gobble in the car. Um, Reassembly. Not sure how prepared I am. I'm sure it will be fine. Because you don't quite know where we're going to go with this. What happened was about a week ago, um, Mrs. Nina, Mrs. Nina and I have what is called Puzzle Club, the greatest and funnest evening. You all look thrilled by this. You'll get to the point in your life, ladies, where Puzzle Club is thrilling to you. Mark my words. Um, and we do a puzzle. I, I now hate puzzles. You love the puzzles. I do. Um, I only really like them for the Minister of Brownies. <clears throat> um, so the phrase you can't have a complete it is basically saying, you can't have everything, you can't have it all. But I wanted my assembly to be about the fact that actually you can have it all if you work out what your all is. I don't feel good at all. Everything went really well with um, my midwife. That was really good. Um, but I've not been feeling great today just in myself. I am going to go through this very quickly. This is my big bag of Halloween stuff. Just going to swizz you. Because over there is all of my book planned out. Um, I'm doing some stuff for the PTA, some Halloween stuff. So I'm just going to sort out what stuff I need to take in in a second. Um, I'm running really late for it. Then I'm going to sell Halloween tickets for a thing. I wish I could film more of my life. I was thinking about this earlier. I feel like you get a bit of a shit deal sometimes. Ooh, big bag of Halloween craft. Yeah, I feel like you get a raw deal because I don't film my boyfriend, I don't really film my daughter, I don't film any of the stuff I do at the school, and I do a lot of stuff at the school. Um, I, I like volunteer for everything. <laughs> I do the PTA stuff. Um, so, I don't know, I've been thinking a bit about that. I'm like, what I could do to mitigate that, what I could do to tackle that. Is there anything I could do without compromising like things that I think are important, like, <laughs> hello, like um, Darcy and Liam's privacy and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Should I take this in? A spooky cloth? Yeah, I'll take a spooky cloth in. Everyone loves a bit of spooky cloth. Um, yeah, so that's just something, oh God, I've been thinking about. Be interested in your thoughts. My name's Darcy, like usual. And mummy is Hello. cooking. She's in the cooking. Got myself a glass of schlur whilst I cook. That I really do not like. I don't like. We've got Waldorf salad. Ooh. And chorizo. That looks interesting. And we're having filled pasta. Ta da! And. Bebe spinach. Like some noodles. Yeah! Bebe spinach. Um, Wait, for lunch, you come home and that was it? Oh, some cheese, some delicious cheese. What are you most excited for? I'm excited for my fa my f my favourite pasta. I'm just going to show you um what I'm in. I'm in pajamas. Da 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 da. Yeah, and that's it. And if you'd like to see my face, there you go. It's going to Thank do. Thank you. Thank you. That was the best bit of the vlog so far. Um, just cracking on and cooking dinner. Yeah. Fairly normal day, isn't it, dudes? I'm gonna help them, Mummy, if I would like. You're gonna help me? Great. Liam's running a bit late, so Tudor's gonna have hers here. I'll sit with her, and then I'll serve up mine and Liam's when he gets back. Don't mind the floaty bits. It's not bugs and dirt. It's like bits of flowers from my last bath bomb. But I'm having this one, Monsters Ball. I actually did a video on my main channel showcasing all the Lush stuff that they have out for Halloween, if you're interested. I am about to get myself into this and read my book 
and relax. Good morning. It is, what is it today? It's Wednesday today. It's about half nine. Um, I've taken Darcy to school and she had like an assembly thing which was so cute. Sorry about the noise downstairs. Liam is playing his guitar as always. Um, and today it's a crazy busy day. I'm really excited for it though. I'm sending off a big chunk of my book to my editor which means we're getting we're getting going with things. Am I even in shot? No. Hello. Um, I'm making slime. <laughs> making slime. Um, I have to make some for a PTA thing so I'm doing a bit of like science at home to test it out and take it in later on. Also really really freaking excited. This is the saddest thing ever to be excited about. I'm having a clean up come today. My house is a mess and horrible and since I've been like doing book and six million other things I just have not kept on top of it. Usually I do. Um, so I'm having someone come in and do like a deep clean for me and then I can get back on track and I'm sure some people will be like you don't do anything with your life and you shouldn't have some morning <laughs> made a big song and dance of making that bed even though now I'm gonna sit on there to work so I'm gonna like destroy that um, but that is the start of the day I would appreciate it if you would not bite my one of my only designer handbags this is Kate Spade I realize this isn't Chanel or Mulberry don't mind this and this but still could you not could you not <laughs> oh you're stuck you're stuck get out get out of the bag stop it i've just been doing an instagram thing for this um this is a little disney perfume that they asked me if i would instagram and i was like yeah definitely because anything disney you know i'm game but how cute is this Darcy is gonna freaking love this. It's a little perfume and it has glitter in it. It's not much, it's hypoallergenic and it's like a lovely little gift for Christmas. I just think that is so 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 sweet. And my friend's daughter actually already has this, and Darcy's seen it in her bedroom. So when she comes home, she's gonna be absolutely thrilled to get this. She's with her dad tonight, but she'll be with me at the weekend. So I don't know whether to save it till Christmas. I might just give it to her now. A little perk of having an Insta mermaid. <laughs> Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm Louise and I just cried for nothing. Like, I was just sat typing something that was not at all emotional and cried. So, that's how much I like my pregnancy hormones today. I've got to go to school now, so see you later, okay? I see you later, alright? Yeah, I see you later. Will you miss me? Will you miss me? Shall I move this so you don't have to lay on plastic? Yeah? There you go, look at that. Yeah, that's right. I love you. And I've like, developed a new singing voice that I think is a, is a goer. It's okay. whispery and hoarse. Okay. I love that already. Why can't, not, there's no way. It's yeah. not in any way overpowering. Could your car be any hotter? No, I've opened this, look. Oh gosh. I don't want everyone to hear just in the car park. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess. I'm oh, sorry, the kill. I'm sorry, the kill. Oh, Give them a sense of surprise to make it easier. Let the children, everybody searching for a hero. Come in. Even need someone to look up to. And never I've already told. I, there was a reason for me singing that song. It was something I had to do. 
Yeah. And now he stopped it. I love you so much. I love you so much. I developed a whole new voice for it. It was going through highs and lows of emotions. Yeah, yeah. Starting as if you're speaking to a small child in whispery tones, not right. not in any way aggressive not or how you disturbing. Speak to your no, well, possibly not. I'm now developing my new voice for my children. And then I was coming into the emotion of the loneliness of not being regarded as a beautiful object as a child it was all very 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 therapeutic for me and you've ruined it so, ruined it i tell you i'm sorry we need well. to go and sell these tickets can we start all over again or do we have to do this now can we start again we can start again let's do it again please okay. let's let's have some are we starting from the beginning we're going to start from the beginning well, oh, oh, oh. here we go here we go here we go we're going to do the whispery voice okay I needed to do it for my soul before I could meet the people. Let's go and sell some damn tickets, shall By we? People, do you mean have, I, have I turned the like, car off? Is it off? Them, no, it's not. No, it's still on. Okay, let's go. And that's what we do in the school car park. I meant to vlog this whilst we were driving, but somebody fell asleep. And it wasn't it wasn't Liam, whilst it was me. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. We've arrived now. We're in a little village called Beaconsfield. There we go, that's the site of the village I'm giving them. Like a pot it's of lovely, shrubs. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely, yeah. Um Here's a funny story for you. My, oh, a bit bright, a bit bright. My dad got married in May, and I think it was his business partner, Pete, do you remember Pete, babe? Yeah. Pete, he gave my dad and Tina, as a wedding present, a night stay in a hotel. My dad has now gone to Bhutan on honeymoon, as you do, um, and said, do you want a stay in this hotel to me and Liam? We were like, yeah, I'm never gonna say no to a stay in a hotel. Having Googled the hotel, it's called the Crazy Bear, and I don't want to at all say anything negative about the Crazy Bear, because it's not negative to us, but I mean, it it's a sex hotel, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Google image, Crazy Bear Hotel. I mean, there's rooms with leather cladding on the walls, which, and I've stayed in a lot of hotels. I like a luxury hotel. I've never stayed in a hotel with leather clad cladding on the walls. So, whilst I'm excited to stay here, back of my mind, a bit weird that my dad, my dad was gonna stay here. Is it a bit, do you, what do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna take you on a little tour of our hotel room. Liam's gone to find out if there's a car park because we parked on the side of the road. Um, or another thing I've just thought is that I've known my dad's business partner, Pete, since I was like younger than Darcy, since I was like four. So it's even weirder that it's him that has paid for the room. It's him that has, it, weird that he booked my dad this kind of a route. Maybe I'm going too much into this. I mean, lots of people stay in hotels and that's not what they're for. Maybe, you know, Many people stay here and probably don't do that. And there is apparently like a world class restaurant and all that sort of stuff, so we're excited for that. But what I can't, I Google imaged it. I Google imaged Crazy Bear Red Room and 
I, I went I went down a road in my head that was not that was yep I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop because the theme's coming back about the car park yep nothing sexier than a man carrying a maternity pillow is there we've arrived at the room and you know in the car when I was like maybe people don't book it for that kind of thing um I'm gonna show you the room okay so the first thing you'll note is the floor is red leather and nothing more sexy than your maternity pillow for when you're like seven months pregnant but a lovely red sofa some red furry walls a whole bottle of champagne fluffy black cushions on crushed red velvet sofas with mirrored things everywhere um yep uh, well a bed is standard you get a bed a black leather bed um this at the end of the bath i'm at the end i'm happy about this i'm going to enjoy that and then this is the bathroom look how pregnant i am um again now this we've moved on to black is it leather or like plastic can't work out really um oh i thought there was more around there but that's literally just a mirror okay good yeah oh no babe do you not just noticed what <laughs> there's no actual door to the bathroom no. so what we're we gonna do about that what if i need a poo I'm super struggling to relax. We've been here about half an hour. I've put my hair in a bubble. Oh, I've just opened again, babe. Um, it's a bit, it's just so alien to be in like a red velvet attic at this time of day. It's like half past five and really, if I was at home, I'd be like doing some work or like doing some Darcy stuff. And you walk around and like slide about because you're on funny flooring. You're enjoying it, aren't you? Yeah, it's lovely. It is lo oh, it is lovely. It's very luxe. Very luxe. Maybe I'm just not a luxe person. We're having a look around the terrace. Is that a pool? Yeah. Oh, it is. It's very nice. Very nice. I'm still feeling hugely intimidated by this place. I think it's because it's so overtly adult maybe i don't know mm. i feel like my floral maternity dress isn't cutting it here <laughs> cheers i have got an apple berry mocktail oh the lighting's a bit funny what's going on that's fine our meal was so nice if you do get to come to the crazy bear it's beaconsfield beaconsford beaconsfield yeah the food is delicious. I'm now going to have a bath and this beauty. I've settled in now, I've settled in. It took me like a good two hours earlier. I mean, the floor, I've been calling it leather, it's crocodile, I'll show you. Look, it's like crocodile skin. And I said to Liam, I didn't even know they did red crocodiles. Do you think this is real crocodile, Liam? No. Good, I wouldn't want it to be real crocodile, but um, oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, gonna have a little go in this now, which I'm quite excited about. This is all open and this is all open. This is very distressing for me. I really need a poo. Just go in here. I don't know what a pasta really want to have. Like a Good morning. We are going downstairs for breakfast. We slept well, good bed, it's very comfy, nice bath. And now it's food time. Mmm, I'll just. Mine. I like to live on the wild side. <laughs> right, I'm home. I hope it's not too windy out here, but the house is just so noisy. Um, I've done the school run and all that sort of stuff, and Liam's cooking. So I thought I'd just come and sit out here and enjoy the last of the warm weather. I think we're gonna have a bit of a warm weekend. Um, final uh, verdict on Crazy Bear, um, Beaconsfield, Beaconsfield. Um, 
I thought, considering like as a treat, as like an extra bonus treat night, um, that was like a gift, I think that Dad's friend got it on Groupon or one of those sorts of things, really nice. The bed was really comfortable, the bath was really lovely, the food was delicious. A few things though, um, we thought the food was a bit of a swizz um, because they gave you different menus if you were having like the, the Groupon thing and we ended up ordering off the actual normal menu and the food was really delicious but obviously we ordered off that and paid for it. Um, <laughs> Liam thought breakfast was a swizz. It was really delicious but it was, it was just a lot of money and um, the room for me I'm not sure that I often think like, oh, I would really like to stay in a room with red leather flooring, but if that's your taste, then definitely go because you would really enjoy it. But for me, I think it was a nice experience, but I probably wouldn't then go on and like repeat book, like the Grove and the Sanderson are all places I repeat book regularly and really enjoy to go for a night away. Um, so for what it was, really, really, really lovely, had a really nice time. Had I had, um, like saved up and booked it and really looked forward to it, I think there would have been elements that I would have felt let down by. So there we are. <laughs> that was a very in-depth thingy um, review, I suppose. I'm going to a kid's party now, and you know, I just don't want to. <laughs> I just really want to like curl up and have some comfort food and um, my hormones are like playing up today. This is the first time in ages that I felt like a bit down. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that. Probably siesta, which would be nice. Maybe she'll make me breathy sing in her car again, which I would welcome. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to a laser party. Yay, motherhood. <laughs> look at Darcy's hair. You look so ready to par tay, Darcy. Show them a twirl. Show them a twirl then. Woo! Wait. Yeah. <gasps> Incredible. Let's go. The children are settled, and so we are escaping to next. I desperately need more leggings because I feel like a boa constrictor is around my waist at the moment <laughs> because I'm just ballooning. Just ballooning. Esther, I don't know what needs. Esther doesn't need it. I have a shopping oh, sickness. Look, what, shopping look sickness. at me. <laughs> Christmas things. Christmas things. Oh, I've got something to tell you about Christmas, Esther. Oh, look at these. Esther, look at these. These are called bugle beads. I'm not feeling particularly excited by anything. I don't know if it's because I can't fit into anything. Or, oh, I'm excited by this actually. What's wrong with you when like you're 32 and this is what excites you? But this is what excites me. Will it wash well? Oh God, that's sad, isn't it? I never thought I'd get to a point in my life where I said things like, oh, will it wash well? Leggings, here we are. Did you return to leggings in next? Well, I want to I'm gonna live in maternity leggings for the rest of my life. I was in the children's section and Esther just called me and said, come to the change room. She's in a predicament. I'm so excited for whatever this is. You all right? Please help me, I'm stuck. <laughs> Get back in the changing room. I need to see the <laughs> Can you help me please? Oh, it's no, stuck over the tip. <laughs> no, you can't pull it down. Uh, no, okay, no. let's take it off. Pull it up, pull it up. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. You've not undone the zip at the back. Not exactly, I can't do it. That's why I'm asking you to help me. <laughs> why are you trying to cram yourself in the Because I couldn't oh, do it. Stuck. Oh, God. <laughs> Just oh, 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 there we go. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. With a white bra. How do you feel? Just let the, let the viewers know. Here, here we are. Oh. I feel a bit more relieved now. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I've squeezed her in. I've potentially cut my own hands doing it. Esther, you look, you look wonderful. Comment below, should Esther buy this dress? Oh, hi, we're having a little chat. Um, I want to have a bit of a chat with you. I will apologise that my cats are scrabbling around with copious conkers that we have all over the house. These keep the spiders away. Did you know if you put conkers on the floor in the corners of your house? Right, it's Saturday, I didn't finish the vlog yesterday. I was so tired. Not just like, oh, I was a bit tired. Like, I was on 4% life battery and was about to expire. And as soon as I got in from that kids party, I was like, Liam, please do the bedtime story, I'm getting in the bath. So I just got in the bath and by 9 p.m. I was like fully asleep and done. <laughs> I was so tired. Pregnancy, <sighs> shit me, growing a baby. That is, it's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing. Um, Right, I wanted to talk to you about the weekly vlogs, actually. Um, I've saved it till the end because I was like, oh good, most people won't be watching by the end. Sorry about the shuffling over there. It's the kittens. 
Um, yeah, I didn't film last week, and truth be told, I did actually film last week. I have footage from it. Um, I just felt like it wasn't good enough, and I was like, I don't want to put out just crap. Um, and so by Wednesday, I just stopped vlogging and just sort of just leave it for next week because then no, thank you, please don't play with that. Um, because then by next week, I'll be a bit more like back at it and I can film interesting stuff. But the truth is, I'm starting to feel like I'm not filming enough interesting stuff because a lot of my life at the moment is spent at home because I'm writing the book and also doing mum stuff and I don't have a cast for my show. So if this is the Louise show, there's not much that I, I don't put Darcy in it very often because I really just want her to enjoy her like little six year old private life. Liam, I don't put in it because again, he is having his private life and um, also in his job, he's quite senior in his job and he works with vulnerable people so um, at this moment in time it's not like it wouldn't really work too much to have him too much in the vlogs and you know he only met me like what year and a half, year and a bit ago, he wasn't, when he met me he wasn't like oh, I really want to be a YouTuber so he's just doing his thing and I don't know if I'm enough <laughs> for <laughs> weekly vlogs. I, that sounds really like, oh, everyone tell me I'm enough. I don't mean it in that way. I feel very like secure and confident in myself as an individual. I just mean to continue making the same thing every week. I'm wondering if that is good enough for you. Am I giving you enough? And I mean, the numbers say yes, but my conscience says needs, I, you know, I feel like each week, so sometimes I feel like I'm like, oh, I need to film something interesting. Oh, I'm going to the supermarket, I'll film that. And like, I think you deserve more, is what I'm actually trying to say. I feel like if this were a product, I would want the product to be better. Um, and right now, with my energy levels at an all-time low, I'm going to be like 29 weeks pregnant next week and writing the book. Um, and I've taken on some other, like, th these sound like, all secret projects. I, I have a fingers in lots of pies, I do lots of different like work things that aren't always like public and online and stuff. Um, I'm just running, I don't know what else to do. So I think what we'll do is next week, rather than filming a little bit each day, I might just film one day and make that day like condense energy into one day and I feel like I can give more. Um, also, if you would like, comment below because I'll see these comments. I have had my PO boxes delivered and there was a lot of stuff. If you would like a full PO box tour, like an unboxing, we could do that. I'd quite like to do that and make that be the weekly video. Um, let me know what sort of things you enjoy to see. Don't play the conkers, sir. You little monkey. <laughs> let me know what you would like to see because I'm all ears and I want to please you. Um, and I want, I want to make things that I enjoy making but also want to make things that you enjoy watching, so there needs to be a balance. And some people will say, no, just make whatever you enjoy making. Well, you know, it's gotta be something that you enjoy as well. So what I'm asking for is a bit of feedback. I'm not asking for you to like massage my ego and be like, it's great, things do great. Just be honest and say, don't tell me what you don't enjoy. <laughs> just tell me what you do enjoy. And I'll see if I can include more of that. For those of you that will say, collabs with Dan and Phil, that is coming and that's not what we do on this channel. Um, there won't be more of Darcy because lots of people always say more of Darcy, more of Darcy. That's not going to be, that's not going to be something. So, you know, not collabs and not Darcy. What do you want on this channel? I will give it to you. Um, yeah, I hope that some of you stay till the end to watch that, this lengthy monologue. Hi baby, would you like to see Orbit? Come here then. Come here. Come here. Yes. There you are. Oh, hi. Hi, would you like a whole video just of watching the cats? I would watch that. I would watch that. Right, let me know your thoughts. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This video is gonna be long and I will see you next week for another weekly that is potentially a little bit upgraded. Wob, 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 wob. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, are there any links? below that I want you to, yeah there's probably links below I want you to click and look at and stuff so whatever they are they'll be linked and I will see you next week. Bye!